What's up everyone? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it is time to give you my college football playoff semifinal prediction games for today to and tomorrow. We're going to start with the Verbo Fiesta Bowl between the number three seeded TCU Horn Frogs and the number two seeded Michigan Wolverines. And how this video works, I basically give you the stats comparison between the two teams and also give you the game summary of what time the game will be. And then, of course, I will give you pretty much a score prediction and how the game, I think, will go down. So we'll start with this one. Uh, tomorrow we'll have to do the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl between Ohio State and Georgia. Uh, these games are being played this Saturday, and this is the first matchup between TCU and Michigan. So this will be the first game this Saturday on New Year's Eve. So, And it's been a while since I posted a video. Before I get into this video, I just want to make things clear that I took a week off last week. And now I'm back full time doing the video. So we'll try to get a video out every single day this week, perhaps, but we'll see how it goes. So let's get right into it here with my college football playoff semifinal prediction between the number three seed and the number two seeded matchup here between TCU and Michigan. We'll start with the stats here for both of these teams. I'm looking at TCU's first, they are averaging about 273 yards of passing. Uh, Max Duggan proved to me that he is the best quarterback in the Big 12. And also, you know, one of the toughest quarterbacks in the country. I mean, he showed that against, you know, Kansas State. I know they lost the Big 12 championship. I mean, he showed toughness, though, in later part of the game. And TCU did not give up in that game. I know they couldn't move the ball on offense really that well, but this team can, you know, still really play some solid comebacks. I mean, they had them comebacks, you know, in the regular season. And this team could do it again. This team can really show some fight against this Michigan defense, which is going to be pretty tough, but... I like the passing game of Max Duggan. I think he's pretty much one of my favorite quarterbacks right now, but maybe in the top five, perhaps. He was a Heisman candidate as well, so he's had a pretty good season. They're averaging about 200 yards on the ground. Uh, they got Keandre Miller, their leading rusher. He's got over 1,000 yards on the season and 17 rushing touchdowns. So, yeah, this is a pretty good running game for this TCU team. If they can run the football pretty well against this Michigan defense, that's going to be good enough to put them on the scoreboard. I mean, I think, you know, they have a chance to get on the scoreboard and pretty much, you know, score some points on that Michigan defense. I think both of these teams are pretty even in scoring terms against both defenses. And you look at the points per game for TCU, 40 points per game um, by this TCU team. This is a much better offensive, you know, team than it was last year. And this is a TCU team that went, you know, 5-7 and seven last year. And this season, they went 12-0 and 0 in the regular season. They lost the Big 12 championship. I know that's tough, but I think this is pretty much one of the best TCU teams I've seen in a long time. Uh, offensively in the rankings, they're ranked 15th on offense, so that's a much better offense. Uh, defensively, they are, they've had ups and downs this year. They're 74th in the country, but... It doesn't really matter. I mean, this defense continues to get better each and every single game. We've seen that, you know, in the last few weeks. I know they didn't look good against Kansas State, but, you know, they really can make some stops. I think they can really – they're going to have to just – it's going to come down to this defense. Let's be honest. I think the defense is going to be the key uh, for this TCU team. Uh, for Michigan, their stats now, they're averaging about 210 yards of passing, 0.5 yards of passing. Uh, J.J. McCarthy, with him being the starter now – He's had a pretty good season. Let's be honest. I mean, J.J. McCarthy, I still think his best game was against Ohio State. And I think he pretty much showed us why that he is basically the starting quarterback for Michigan. And Michigan coming off that Big Ten championship win against Purdue uh, early part of December. So, yeah, that was a solid win there. And this is a Michigan team that can run the football. 243 yards on the ground. Yes, they lost their tailback. I know they lost um, Blake Corman in the season, but... You know, they got some talented running backs in the backfield. I think they can really run the football with those guys. And also, they, they ran the football still pretty well without Blake Corum in the Ohio State game, even though he went out for the rest of the game, even though he played as well. But this team can still run the football. This is a great offensive team. I think this is a well-balanced Michigan offense as well. This is one of the best Michigan offenses I've seen in a while under the Jim Harbaugh era. Um, they're averaging about 40 points a game. So, yeah, this is a good Michigan team like they were last year on the offensive side of the ball. Offensively in the rankings, they're 27th. Yes, they're 27th in the rankings, but there's a lot of great other offensive teams out there. But this is pretty much one of the best offensive teams I've seen in a while for Michigan. Uh, defensively, this has been one of the best defenses in the country as well. Third on defense, 
I think they're just right behind, you know, Georgia and some other team. But, yeah, this team right now, they they have plenty of weapons on that defensive side of the ball. I think this team is capable of, you know, stopping the run against this TCU team. So, looking at the stats comparison between these two teams, Michigan does have the advantage in the rushing game. And, you know, TCU just a little bit of an advantage in their points per game. But both of these teams can score. I think it's going to come down to, you know, both defenses in this game. I mean, pretty much who has the better defense and also who has the better running game? That's the question. I mean, Michigan's been dominant in the run game all year long, but I think it's going to come down to the, both defense and teams. So we'll see how it goes. Let's go to the game summary now. Um, this one will be at 4 o'clock Eastern time, so it will be the first game on New Year's Eve. It will be an ESPN game, of course. This one's in Glendale, Arizona. Um, it's where the Fiesta Bowl will be played at. Michigan favorite going into this game by 7.5 points, and the over and under is at 58.5. So, I mean, I'm expecting a lot of high-scoring game in this one, perhaps, but TCU comes into this one at 12-1. and Of course, that loss came to Kansas State in the championship game with the Big 12 Conference. Then Michigan comes in here at undefeated. So, there are about, you know, two undefeated teams left here in college football. You got Georgia and Michigan, and then you got one-loss teams in here that contain TCU and Ohio State. So Michigan, 13-0, coming off that Big Ten championship win. And if you look at the FBI, they're giving Michigan about a 67% chance to beat TCU, and TCU is only given about a 33% chance. TCU has always been kind of the underdog lately in these games. I, think, I don't think they were an underdog in the Big 12 championship, perhaps, but I think this team is pretty much the underdog in this one just because they like Michigan's offense as well. So, yeah, this game will be, you know, pretty tough, I mean, for TCU to, you know, be an underdog in. But, yeah, this team, I think, can really compete with this Michigan team. So, this one will be the first game here in the college football playoff semifinal. It's, it will be at 4 o'clock Eastern time on New Year's Eve uh, this Saturday. And then the national championship game will be held on that Monday on, I think it is probably January the 9th, I believe. So, and we'll also make a prediction on that game as well when it comes. So, yeah, that's the game summary there. Uh, again, Michigan with a 67% chance to win. Uh, TCU a 33% chance. So that is the game summary. Now let's go to the prediction. So we got TCU at number three seed in the um, college football playoff. Then we got number two, Michigan here in the college football playoff. TCU is 12-1 going into this game. Michigan's 13-0. Who do I think wins, and who do I think? How do I think the game's going to go down? Well, in the first half, I believe it's going to be pretty even. I think both defenses are going to gain some ground. I think third quarter, Michigan's up maybe by seven, and then they start to pull away. I think it's going to come down to that fourth quarter. I think TCU is going to make a comeback if they're pretty much trailing like fourteen and nothing early in the game. But I think Michigan, I think TCU can really compete against this Michigan team if they can run the football on offense or also the passing game. They can get. I think they're going to probably pretty, pretty much you know pass the ball against this Michigan team. So I think that's how it's going to work. But you know how the game's going to go down. I think in the fourth quarter, Michigan's going to start to pull away, and I think they score 14 unanswered. I'm going to go with Michigan to defeat TCU, but not by a blowout. I think they only win by 11 points. I mean, I know they're favored by seven and a half, but I think they just pull away in the fourth quarter. Uh, that running game starts to come down. J.J. McCarthy starts to pass the football better. And I think both quarterbacks are going to have to have a big game, to be honest. I think, you know, both defenses are going to have to have a big game as well. But I think it's going to be an offensive game. I think both of these teams can score. I just wonder how the Georgia and Ohio State game will go. Maybe that's a defensive game. But I think this is the game that is going to come down to a shutout. But I think in the fourth quarter, Michigan will pull away. And I think that's how the game. So I think they win this one 38 to 27. I think Michigan will move on to the national championship because I like this Michigan team here. I mean, I kind of, you know, I kind of like that TCU team as well. But I think Michigan, I think they're just the better overall offense. And also defensively, I think it's going to help them out in the fourth quarter. So I think that's how the game's going to go down. Uh, that concludes my prediction for the Verbo Fiesta Bowl matchup between the number three seeded TCU Horn Frogs and the number two seeded Michigan Wolverines. Let me guys know what you think. Um, who do you got winning this one? And who do you got winning to the national championship? And I'm back doing full-time videos once again. I took a day off or, you know, excuse me, a week off last week. So everybody, let's hope everybody has a um, great Christmas and, you know, a happy new year coming up. So 
We're back on full schedule, and stay tuned here for more on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.